Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The company snapshot shows multiple graphs and information from lists as independent widgets within the company snapshot window. You can interact with some of the widgets within the company snapshot window to perform basic tasks. You can use the drop downs and click the links within the widget shown to change widget settings and perform other tasks related to the widget. To open the Company Snapshot window, select Reports, Company Snapshot from the menu bar. You will see three different tabs named Company, Payments, and Customer shown in the upper left corner of the window. You can click these tabs to view the widgets available within each screen. Note that unlike the Company and Payments tabs, which show widgets that display general company and payables information, the Customer tab allows you to select the name of a customer from the Customer drop-down at the top of the tab to view information about the selected customer within the widgets shown on this tab. To add a widget to a tab, click the tab to which you want to add a widget. Then click the Add Content link in the upper left corner of the tab to display a pane that shows the widgets that you can add to the tab at the top of the window. The total number of widgets available to add to that tab appears at the bottom of the pane. If available, you can click the small left and right pointing arrows at the bottom of the pane to scroll through the available widgets. When you see a widget that you want to add shown in the pane, click the Add button next to the name of the widget to add the widget to the tab. The widget will then appear within the tab and the name of the button will change to display the word added. After adding the widget you want to the selected tab, click the done button in the lower right corner of the pane to close it. To reposition a widget within a tab, click and drag the widget by its title bar at the top of the widget and release it into the desired position within the tab. A thick black line appears in the tab as you click and drag to let you know where the widget will appear when you release it. To remove a widget from a tab, click the small X button in the upper right corner of the widget you want to remove to delete it from the tab. You may then see a Remove Content message box appear on screen to confirm you want to remove the widget. Click the OK button within this message box to remove the content from the tab. To restore the default display of the widgets shown within a tab, click the Restore Default link in the upper left corner of the tab. A Restore Default message box may then appear on screen to confirm you want to restore the default widget settings. If you want to continue to reset the default widgets and widget settings, then click the Yes button to continue. To print the content of a tab, display the tab that you want to print, and then click the Print drop-down link in the upper right corner of the tab. Then choose the Print command from the drop-down menu to open the Print dialog box. Select a printer, choose a print range, and enter the number of copies to print within the print dialog box. When you are ready to print the content, then click the print button within the print dialog box to print the content of the tab to the printer you selected. To see a print preview of the page before you print it, click the print drop down button in the upper right corner of the tab and then select the print preview command from the drop down menu to open a separate print preview window. You can scroll through the pages using the spinner in the upper right corner of the print preview window. You can use the buttons in the toolbar at the top of the window to print, zoom, change the number of pages shown in the preview, or close the window. To change the page orientation and set other page setup options before printing, click the print drop down link in the upper right corner of the tab and then select the Set Orientation command from the drop-down menu to open a Page Setup dialog box. Here you can set the paper size, page orientation, and margins for the print job, and then click the OK button to apply your changes. When finished viewing the Company Snapshot window, click the X button in the upper right corner of the window to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.